Good morning and welcome to Meals with Melissa. Now, I'm not gonna lie, today's recipe that we're doing is a little more complicated than I normally choose. Um, I really do try to stick with things that are super simple because A, I'm not a great cook. Um, love to bake, not gonna lie, but when it comes to making things, uh, this is one of those recipes you might have to try multiple times to get it right, um, and that's okay, right, because you know, it just is what it is. Um, I chose this one because it is kind of just the season. You know, I, I love to do things that are traditional um, and create traditions with my family. And this is one of those that, of course, you know, eggnog does contain a lot of sugar. Um, everything does these days. We, we've talked about that before. So we're gonna just create a little more uh, low carb friendly option. Um, it does require the stove. So if you are not great at it, again, you might have to try these a couple of times to make them, to get them right. Now I'm actually making the full recipe today. Um, I started making a half recipe. As you know, I like to do half just to try it out and then half um, so that I'm not making huge batches of it and then it sits in my fridge. Um, but this is one of those you're going to have to make the full recipe just because um, the textures don't work out correctly if you don't. So I was going to do a little research on eggnog this morning just because, of course, I like to know the history of it. Um, I just didn't get that far. Uh, you know, it's, it's just been one of those weeks where, of course, things are crazy. I don't know if they are for you. I'm guessing they are just because it is Christmas. Um, so I just want you to know we've got the stove going. Um, we'll try to get you a little bit of an angle here. Um, but I've got the full recipe um, ready to go. And again, I know I've been really bad at making sure that I post them down below. Um, you are welcome to remind me when I forget because some, sometimes things get a little crazy after I'm done. So we're going to do um, one, again, that's a little more low carb friendly. We're going to use some almond milk, which we tend to keep a lot around our house these days. Um, we actually get it in this nice little, um, is that a half gallon container? That's plenty, right? Um, so we're going to use a cup and a half of almond milk and it's unsweetened original. Now, um, I choose that just because again, we want as little added sugar as possible. And um, you know what, we're actually doing three quarters, or um, excuse me, one and a quarter cup, one and a quarter cup. All right, I do have my recipe sitting right here. So I'm going to put that in a, in a pan and I'm actually gonna work for the first few ingredients, I'm going to um, bring them to a simmer. So I'm gonna start with my almond milk. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now again, it really depends on what your macros are. You know, it's funny, I get people that say, well, you know, what percentages should I be doing? Well, what's your goal? It really depends on what your goal is. The different macronutrients are metabolized differently in your body, and of course, your body uses them in a different way. So, if you are very low carb, you need to be taking in higher fats because you still need the calories. Low calorie diets are not appropriate for anyone. Um, you know, if, if that's something that you're, you've been looking at, what it does is it really basically drops your metabolism to nothing and then you feel miserable, right? Um, and then if you choose to have a cheat or a free meal or enjoy the holidays like we are as a family, then you just gain it all back plus some. So for those of you who, like me in the past, have yo-yo dieted, that is the downside to that. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Again, this is gonna bring a little more fat to the product, but since we're going low carb, right? It's okay, we need the fats. Um, anybody who has ever done keto knows about fat bombs, um, you know, things that are high in fats in order to get the calories in. Now, of course, that's not necessarily my goal right now, but again, because it's low carb, we have to get um, the, the textures in a different way. And of course, fats create a great texture. So I'm gonna add the heavy cream to my lovely little pot here that's, that's going, okay. Now, my favorite part, I'm actually excited about, um, well, we're gonna add some confectioner's um, swerve, um, but then we're gonna add some spices. Of course, I, that's my favorite thing about the holidays. I love the smell of like cinnamon and, and all the spices. Um, that's also why I like to bake. Um, but of course, I'm using erythritol. Um, there is no one great pure stevia product. Most of them are a combination. Um, erythritol is great because it doesn't raise blood sugar. The downside is it can cause digestive distress. Um, upside to that, you're not gonna do a, take in a whole lot of the product, right? You're not gonna eat a whole lot of it or drink a whole lot of the product because otherwise you're gonna feel disgusting. Um, so don't, you know, if you, if you get bloated, if you start to, you know, get feeling a little bit weird, back off of how much you're utilizing. Um, they make it in a confectioner's, which is like powdered sugar. Um, the benefit there is that it just absorbs a little bit uh, and, and mixes a little bit differently uh, than granulated. So we're going to, this, this recipe calls for four tablespoons, um, but we're adding a little bit at the very end. So I'm going to do three of the tablespoons to my mixture right now. And I do have my lovely little, little whisk. Um, plus I do have a hand mixer. So things that you might wanna have on hand when you're starting this process. Hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing over here. So I'm adding three of the four tablespoons 
at the confectioner swerve. My daughter likes to put these in lovely little cute little containers, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong, it looks super great, but then I have a hard time getting it back out. Um, so I'm just utilizing the the packaging right now. Um, most you can find these at most stores, including Walmart. Um, you know anything Safeway, anything that's local to you. Uh, you know it's become pretty popular, so it's not like you actually have to hit a health food store to find these anymore. All right, so that is the sweetener. Again, we're going to add a little bit more at the very very end. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Again, this is where I love this part. <laughs> Just love the spices. Love the way they smell. See, to me, that's Christmas. All right, so I'm going to do a, make sure I get this right, a half a teaspoon of uh, ground nutmeg to my mixture. Now, while this is heating up, I do want to um, stir it a bit. I want to keep it moving. I don't want it to scald on the bottom. So I'm actually going to grab... Gonna use a fork for that. Um, I need to buy a smaller whisk. That would be awesome. So considering I do like to bake over the holidays, you know, uh, extra tools wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, I personally have the philosophy that on a regular basis, if I eat super, super clean, I don't mind having a full-fledged option once in a while. So like instead of a, a healthier version of eggnog, I might actually have the real version because on a, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, I'm eating super, super clean. So a little bit of sugar isn't gonna kill me, although I'm aware that it, once I start getting on, going on sugar, it's really tough to kind of dial it back. So again, I have to find that balance and so do you. Um, but you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. You know, not everything can be recreated in a healthier version. Sometimes we just have to realize the balance is that we might not have to get to eat it. Um, so that's part of it. All right, so that was nutmeg. Um, I'm gonna add a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Again, cute little containers at my house, right? So fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And then also a one teaspoon of vanilla. And of course, um, Vanilla is awesome because it gives everything great flavor. So I'm gonna add that. And I'm just gonna use a half a teaspoon and add it twice. All right. Sometimes you just kind of have to punt. All right, so as that heats up, I'm gonna separate two eggs. Um, because actually I'm going to enter, I'm going to add them a little bit differently. They need to be a little bit different textures. Um, they need to have, a, one needs to have a little more air. So I've actually already, uh, separated those. Um, so while this gets to a boil, keep mixing that just a little bit. I'm actually going to use my hand mixer for this. Now I tried it already in my first attempt <laughs> to use a whisk. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. Um, partially because you're probably going to get too tired too quick um, to keep going. And it really does need to get to a uh, consistency. I've already separated them. You really need to get to a consistency where the eggs are, the egg yolks are light and fluffy. Um, and that's a little tougher to do with um, <laughs> just a hand whisk. Um, so, you know, mm, I'm going to use a hand mixer. So I'm going to really quickly get that going. And I'm just going to go again until they're light and, and fluffy and a little bit lighter yellow. So it's just going to take about one, one to two minutes to get to that point. And I know it's really loud. I apologize. So is my hand mixer. So, you know. not going to detach these yet. I'm going to use it as I, I actually have to temper the eggs. So as once my um, mixture is simmering just a little bit and we're going to add it to the eggs, but we don't want to scramble the eggs. So I know it adds a little more air into it than I really like it to, but I really don't want to do it hand wise. I've tried it and it just does not work out for me. So again, you might have to try these a couple of times. If you're going to do this for a party coming up, you might test it one or two times before you come up with it. Again, normally I don't do anything so complicated, um, but because it's just the season and I just felt like it, I thought, why not? You know, let's try something new. Um, and that way you can know what a big doofus I become when I'm trying to cook as well. Okay, so this is just about ready to go. I have made a batch because the final, um, the final step actually has to involve a cooled mixture. Um, and of course we don't have time for that here, so I do have one ready to go to show you the final process. And of course you could serve this warm, although I don't think I've ever had warm eggnog um, 
I've always just, you know, had a cold. Um, now, if you're going to add bourbon or rum, it becomes unlow carb. So, you know, keep that in mind that balance is key here. Um, so this is doing pretty well. Like I said, I'm gonna very, very slowly add some of this to my egg yolks, uh, but I don't want them to scramble. Now, one of the ideas, I am gonna post this recipe. I'm actually gonna just screenshot it as I go. I wanna make sure too that the person um, that posted it on Pinterest um, gets their due um, recognition. So I'll just post that down there. But one of the things they said is if your eggs do start to scramble as you add this, you can always throw it through the food processor or a blender um, to, to kind of fix that. But personally, I'd probably just start over. So. Anyhow, we're getting this to the point where it is just about ready to simmer. I'm going to take it off the heat for a second, just kind of let it cool down just a tiny bit. And actually, just for time, we're going to go ahead and get that done. Just because I do have, again, another batch started, so I can show that to you in just a sec. Okay, so we're going to add this. I'm going to turn this on as low as it'll go, and I'm just going to very slowly, and I swear to you, I'm just going to make a mess because that's just apparently how I roll. So about a cup of it, and I'm gonna put it in an actual measuring container just so it's a little easier to pour in there. And I'm gonna do it slowly, because again, you just don't want it to heat the eggs up so quickly that they that they cook right there. So that is that is not our goal. All right, so I'm going to do very slowly. I'm gonna turn this back on, I know it's loud. Hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing here. Very slowly. Add this mixture back to the yolk, okay? Perfect. Now the first time around, I actually stopped and just tapped you know, tested the temperature to make sure that it wasn't too hot. Um, you know, that's a sure way to make sure that it isn't cooking those eggs, and it worked out fairly well that way. So here we go. still at the bottom I'm just gonna make sure that they make it in and then I'm gonna just put it right back into the pan that I was heating it with um, and bring it back to a simmer okay so I'm going to do that although that is not where I'm going to leave you I'm going to grab my mixture out of the fridge okay so really quickly I'm gonna clean off because I want clean beaters because I'm gonna beat the egg whites now okay beat the egg whites till they form stiff peaks all right, and then I'm gonna add it to the cooled mixture that I have in the fridge. And then I'm actually gonna just chill it until it's time uh, to serve it, which my family does, I know, I know, wait for this. We all do cupcake wars as a family and we are doing the Christmas edition tonight. So again, just some fun things that we do in our family. We're gonna serve some of our eggnog with that. All right, so I am going to in a, there's my bowl. I'm gonna beat these egg whites until they're stiff, and I'm gonna grab my mixture from the fridge. Okay, so this has had this had a little time to cool off um, because again, it just we want it to kind of cool down and settle down a little bit before we add the egg whites. Um, not to mention, of course, it'll change the texture if we add it when it's too hot. So I'm gonna throw my beaters back in. Here's my thought process. You know, if I could cook and if I can make all these things and I can figure it out, so can you. Because never once have I professed to be an amazing cook. Now, don't get me wrong, I love good food, uh, but <laughs> you know, I'm willing to try things because, of course, you know, some of these recipes work out amazing. The tuna egg muffins that we made last weekend, huge hit with my family. So you know, here and there we find some that we utilize over and over and over again. So don't be afraid to try new things. Uh, you know, this is. This is how kind of how I make myself try something new because honestly, I'm A, a perfectionist, and B, I don't always have the time to do things like this. This gives me a chance to try something new, try a new recipe, find something that works, maybe have something awesome for my family. And because pretty much my whole family at this point is in a healthy lifestyle, it gives us the ability to maintain that without getting completely bored. 
Plus then I can pass the things that I learn on to you. So I'm gonna beat these until they get stiff. So if you've ever beaten egg whites for meringue or for whatever, you've probably done this before. And I know every once in a while, somebody watches me and then they get on here and tell me some great tips. Don't be afraid to do that because again, I am not a professional when it comes to making food. All right, so I'm just gonna take a minute or two and then I'm just gonna fold it into my mixture and put it in the refrigerator. I could do this in my big stand mixer, but it's way too big. It doesn't really need um, that. It's like a five quart, and I really don't need that kind of space going on. So I'm just gonna get these, again, it just starts to whip air into them, and it gives it a different texture. I am a huge, huge fan of Food Network, and let me tell you, I learn something every week from them. Whether it's even just working with things like egg whites or you know, adding different things to your mix to make it turn out differently, why not? You know, you can still learn at every stage of your life. All right, so this is just gonna take a sec. And you saw that I have the chilled mixture right here that I will add to that. Well, the benefit of using a sand mixer would be that I could turn it on and walk away. But I've also learned that that's not always a good idea anyway. All right, so it's getting there. Now again, if you have found anything that works as a tip for making eggnog, please, you know what, leave a message down below, leave a comment, we love it. And by the way, I do get my best ideas from you guys, so don't be afraid to direct message me uh, if you've got something right. I've had some people in the past give me some really awesome, awesome recipes that they've tried and they're great. I, I am going to warn you, if it's too complicated, I'm probably not going to do it. So. Um, I just learned in my 43 years, complicated, and I don't get along together. It kind of has to be a good, easy step-by-step -step process with some real good instructions. All right, and so this is gonna take just a couple of seconds. Um, again, I'll post, I'm just gonna post pictures down below of the recipe, because that way I'll be sure to get done. This one does have the macros or the, the um, you know, calories and all that great stuff, so I'll, I'll put that down below as well. You know, in the past week so far, um, I have had an eggnog latte. Granted, it wasn't a healthy version, uh, but I don't see why you couldn't make that with this as well. Really, the biggest difference is we're just not adding sugar. We're adding the swerve or the liquid All right, I think we're just about there. Almost. And of course, if you think you got it, turn this off, go try it. But I want to see how it looks, and I want you to see it as well. Right there. Okay, so I do need to really quick stop and add the last tablespoon of erythritol. So I'm gonna grab that really quick and find my, there we go. So let me throw it in there. I don't wanna forget that. It's a total of four tablespoons of the swerve. So I'll throw that in there. Oh good, my texture's almost there. So we're doing super great. About probably another 60 seconds. Be able to add it to our regular mixture. Alright. Okay. So just for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and add it now. I probably need probably another good one or two minutes on that. Um, but you know what? Don't want to wait. So I'm gonna add this to the mixture that I currently have, and I'm just gonna throw it in the refrigerator to cool off, and then we'll serve it tonight as we're doing our, our fun little family party. So this year we chose, I'm really, really big on creating traditions and memories, because to me, I feel like my kids will remember that more than they will the toys that they that they opened. Um, you know, as, as someday as an adult, uh, maybe they'll pass on some of these traditions to their kids. And so at our house, we are doing this year a Harry Potter Christmas, just because I'm a huge nerd and I love it. And so part of everything that we do each time, we've been divided in and sorted into houses. Um, apparently I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, I'm the only Hufflepuff in my family, but 
we are doing competitions. So the Cupcake Wars this evening will be um, a combination of the two houses uh, working together to earn some points. And then of course at the end, um, by Christmas morning, one of the houses will win. And yeah, just for fun. We just like to do fun stuff like that. So again, I probably should have waited a little bit longer on the egg whites, that's okay. At least you got the, the general idea. I am gonna post that. Um, I might even just post the link. So if you have Pinterest, you can actually look at it, see how that rolls. You guys, Pinterest is your friend. Now, that being said, <laughs> Sometimes I see stuff on Pinterest that makes me roll my eyes. Um, yeah, actually quite frequently. But you know what? At least for recipes and things like that, if people have tested them and tried them, it's not something that I, that I worry about too much because, of course, I'm going to just test it myself. Now, if you're seeing the things that say, oh, that one liquid that burns belly fat, guys, come on. That's bubkiss. You can't just drink something and not, you know, and still eat garbage and not exercise and have full benefits from that. But you know what? It's a good start to find a way to find recipes. I mean, years ago, yeah, it was really tough to find information like that. So these are a great way. You can just type in low carb and all kinds of recipes are gonna pop up. And if you're really kind of adventurous and wanna try some things, you know what, do it and let us know how it goes. We like to have some great ideas from you. You know, that's how we work and how we share. So have an incredible Christmas, you guys. I won't see you till after. So happy holidays. I hope that everything, you have joy and happiness with your family. Just enjoy the time and relax. I know that's tough, but just do it. So until next week, have a good one, guys.